And we are live. We are live. And we are met by a horde of 1,362 zombies. Orcs. Let me uh, redo everybody's initials here. All right. Yep. New day. New day. New spells. Okay. I'm gonna take two of the same spells. I'm still gonna take bless water. Okay. And sun metal. Okay, hang on, uh, let me delete these other ones first. So I'm not taking Murder's Commander Shield of Faith today. Today I am taking Hide from Undead and Weapon Wand. Alright, choose something other than Weapon Wand. I don't have it as part of uh, my base Pathfinder stuff. Aww. <laughs> Must be base Pathfinder. It's, it's on the main Oracle Cleric spell list. But where'd it come from? I don't know. Let me see where it came from. No, that's, a, that's a level two. Mm. Should I just do protection from evil? I don't know. That would be a good one. Alright, we're heading into zombies in the next Alright, let's do protection against evil. Alright, and your uh, level zeros are staying the same. What do I have on the Create level? water, detect magic, water. guidance, and virtue. What is virtue again? I gotta reread that one. Uh, you immediately grant a touched creature a tiny surge of life, giving them one temporary hit point. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. Alright, those are fine. Okay. Alright. So you guys are going through the next hex, and uh, as you are traveling, you spot a body in the distance out in front of a cave to the uh, east. Okay. Well, they didn't quite make it. Can I do a, um, can I do a survival check to see if it's trapped, or uh, not trapped, but tracks for anything? Perception first, then survival. Okay. Probably a good idea to try and figure out if there's anything that immediately killed it or not. Mm -hmm. I got a 21. Okay. I didn't get a very good one, so. Mm -mm. Uh, Rakert and Lara. Wow. No. About... <laughs> Or have they see tracks um, kind of around the area, the footmarks okay. that have been that are dragging around, like somebody has been shuffling about, shambling around. Yeah, I think some zombies have been here. No. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle. Scooter got a better check than I did. Mm -hmm. So, dead bodies. Silence One dead body. I'm gonna have my sword out. Okay. Cool has axe. Cool has axe in one hand and wand in other. Okay. I will ready a crossbow. Okay. Do you load it up with a crossbow bolt? But yeah. <laughs> I thought it was already loaded. Excuse me. <laughs> Click. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just a given. <laughs> and, um, Ronnie will head forward if y'all are ready. Yep, move yourself where you want. There's no turn order at the moment. Okay. Are we supposed to go in this cave? I mean, probably close up to trying to figure out what the body is first. Yeah. yeah. So I'll get ready up here. Calgary, oh. gonna go throw some acid water at <laughs> that thing. <laughs> yeah, go pee on it. Do you have knowledge of the local? Okay, we'll go ahead and make an intelligence uh, check and then add uh, 
4 to it. Okay. So, so d20 plus 5. I can't help but notice that you left your horse back there. Cool, have no horse. I, did, I think I'm on edge right now, so my rolls aren't going to be that good. Cool never had a horse. Okay, you think you recognize the woman on the ground. Her cool drip dog is not a common chest, horse. Her chest and neck are all just ripped to, cool, to shreds. Cool drip some water from flask on the head. I'll go closer. Nothing happens with the water from the flask. So it's just a dead body. So can I get a perception check? No, no need. He'll check. Okay, she she was, was very clearly killed by zombies. Does she have anything useful? Um, no, she doesn't seem to have any gear. And when you kind of like turn her over, because she's kind of like her back's arching from the ground a little bit, you can see that she also has um, some old arrows stuck into her back, like something shot her as she was running out of the cave or something. Okay. Do I recognize now that I got closer? No, you, you don't recognize who she is. She just looks familiar. Oh. Relani, Relani is the fastest of us, right? On Namir, yes. Um, my speed by myself is 30 feet. Okay. Cool is going to cast Hide from Undead on Relani. Relani can now no longer be seen, heard, smelled, yeah, felt. Yeah, yeah anything by any undead creatures right. for 30 I'm minutes. I'm looking to uh, cave from here. So, who will tell, cool tell Rolani that she is safe to scout as long as it's undead, and they will not be able to see her at all. Okay. Uh, looking into the cave, you just see a... Um, well, just give me a perception first. And I'll hold out. Would, would that also... Oh, assist team doesn't give me very much. So that, that doesn't huh? dispel until Rolani makes the an attack against undead. Cave goes in um the entrance goes in about 40 feet and kind of narrows down into darkness. Hmm. Do I have a torch? I don't think I have a torch. What? Well, whatever. I'm scouting. I'm doing what they said. Um... Then please do it on the map and roll okay. roll the checks. Hmm. Hey, you didn't say that you were scouting. Can I do a knowledge dungeoneering? If you have knowledge dungeoneering, it would help inside of a, a of a dungeon. Here, uh, not so much. This is just a cave so far, and, and not until you get some information. Okay, so Wait. I have a knowledge nature then. Against what? Uh, I, I thought Rolani was going to go scout The cave? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I can do that then. Um, Mir isn't invisible. Can we fit in the cave? Oh, yeah, definitely fit. Right. He, he shares he shares the spell with you. Does he? Doesn't he? Okay. I thought that was... I think so. Hmm. I think Maybe. that's how cavaliers work, I thought. Um, I don't remember if they got share spells or not. No. I'd have to activate the feat, but I don't currently, I don't currently have it right now. Hmm. And that's only uh, stuff that she casts, shared spell. Alright, well then you may have to hop off the horse for just now. Yeah, uh, so with the 24 on Knowledge Nature, Jamin, uh, this cave is not naturally occurring. It was definitely made, but it was made a long time ago. Here, instead of me then, because hmm. I work with Namir or stuff, can Cole switch that spell to one of the yes. scouts? Okay. Who wants, I could do it, but I'd probably need a torch. Some form of light source. Um, you can take ten, or however long he's going to take to study the body to see if you could figure out who it is. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, anybody actually have a torch on them, or do I need Let to go see. in there with something else? Um, I don't have a torch on me. I don't think. I do not. No. Cool has ten torches. I'll take one. Uh, so, I'll take one. Cool will give a torch yeah. and cast the hide from undead on Reichert, who now has it for 30 minutes or until he attacks an undead. Yep. Okay. 
Let's oh. also also oh. don't. As long as you don't, as if they're unintelligent, so if they're zombies or skeletons, it always works. Mm -hmm. If it's something like a lich, then they get a single chance to see through it. But otherwise, yeah. you're completely in this. All right, so if it's a lich, I'm probably screwed anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so, so don't attack anything, and you can't channel positive energy, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, Rulani, you can't put a name to it, but you recognize her as somebody from her fall that left town a couple weeks ago with um, what you thought was a bunch of her friends or something like that. So it's just someone I've seen around? Yeah. So, But they've been reported missing for a while now. Okay. Um, so you can take, you can take like, a piece of jewelry. Yeah, you can take a piece of jewelry from her or something like that and take it back to town. Hang on, I'm going to Rikert. Rikert, uh, roll me another perception. So, the, with the way that that works is that no matter how combat starts, the first time that they would get an attack would be like a surprise attack for that person then against an undead creature. Kind of, yeah. Okay. okay. So, Riker, you walk in about 40 feet, and then there's a little small descent downwards, mm -hmm. and then there's a large cave opening. Uh, everything's kind of covered in just... It's mostly dirt, but there's moss and a little bit of undergrowth here and there, some fallen rocks. Uh, around the corner here, you see bits and pieces of a body. Um, Is it like it's not in, it's not completely whole. Okay. Yeah, that was my question. So. You do notice, though, that there seem to be a bunch of shadows along it moving all over the body. Mm. That's what it looks like from, from the current distance, yes. Okay, let's see now. We got here. Do we get a better view of it from here now? Yes, it is covered with this dark swarm of stuff I'm just constantly moving over it. It's whatever it is, it's it's still too hard to see. There the the swarm is just a mass of darkness, but also to the south you spot another body kind of bled out seems some some major injury along the uh, underarm or something like that just at the edge of your torchlight hmm. well, let's stay away from the clearly dangerous uh, black lines and go over here okay um, the passageway continues I a, I'd probably like start making more perception checks even though I'm not a rogue just to find target, just to find traps, in case those are there. I'm gonna move a bit closer to this thing, then I'll roll it again. Okay. You just put ah, music on. Good. Yeah, it was supposed to start on load, but it it's for him. Mm -hmm. I don't hear it. Okay, it's not even music. It's just like a background sound. Yeah. Background I hear it. Uh, so what does that 16 tell me? Uh, this, whatever it is, is definitely dead. It's been sitting in a dried pool of blood for a while now. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, now you, I can you hear do, you do. You see some shambling uh, footprints as well, but they're kind of all over the place, but you don't see anything actually moving right now. The passage up ahead seems to open up to more towards the south, but it also continues forward and drops maybe another 20 feet. And I'm gonna. Next time I'm you, gonna when you do like, uh, look Next time you, when you do that. Here. So we're we're still waiting mm -hmm. on you as well outside. So yeah. Whenever you want us. Yeah. What's up, record? Uh, I'm gonna take a look, a closer look at this body now. Okay. Since I'm up to it now, just like you quit pat down. Alrighty. Let's see. Assuming that I didn't see any of the black shadows on it. No, you didn't.
Alright. The body suddenly lurches up and grasps its two hands around your oh, neck. Man. Oh god. That was yeah. a terrible idea. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> wait, uh, wait, wait. Did he touch it? No. Yeah, I touched it. Well, well I, like, I was going to close it. Yeah, he's close enough to it, though. He's adjacent to it. But if you don't touch it, it doesn't see you still. Oh, oh I forgot about the undead thing. Either touch it or attack it. Okay, well then, oh. no. Well, <laughs> I was going to touch it. No, then it can't see you, so no. Free DM hit. Yep. Don't touch it. <laughs> I forgot about the uh, undead thing. Not gonna touch it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> However, <laughs> it does still. Yeah, it, it still looks dead though. Probably better than I just like try and scare around it and then just get try and get as much exploration yeah, yeah. of this thing in. Mm -hmm. uh, how long? Uh, it has like probably about like once I feel like it's been like 15 minutes or so, I'll head out just so I don't get it. It'll take a while for it to be 15 minutes since yeah. you don't have to really, unless you're moving stealth, then it'll take longer to make these movements. Yeah, no, I, I'm not expecting it to, but if like mm -hmm. if I explore most of it and if it gets to a point where I feel like it's been 15 minutes and yeah, yeah. Okay. To hear. But yeah, your thing lasts for 30 minutes right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the passageway continues to wind down uh, to the south and then up ahead at the bottom of this little bit of a hill downwards. It splits off uh, seemingly three ways, one to the north, a little bit to the east, and then further to the south. Hmm, let's stand if someone head over to the south then. Okay. Uh... The passageway continues winding and then around the turn it uh, descends down, and there's two chambers. There's uh, a lot of disturbed rubble in this chamber. Like as in just like kicked around, or as, like as in dug up? No, it's just kind of like all, all over the place. It's There's no hole in the ground or anything like that. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to roll a perception check here then. Okay. Uh, 19. Do I get any further information with that? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, as you're looking around, you hear something moving uh, along the roof, the, the ceiling of this cave, kind oh, of like yeah, causing cool. a little bit of dust to drip down and I look crack up. and fall. <laughs> uh, and when you look up, you are greeted with... An attempted bite at your face from this. Oh, you! It seems to be some sort of huge centipede thing. Just burrows a hole through the ground and bites down at you. Mm. Rolling against your AC, I have to roll to confirm a crit. Uh. That is an 18 versus. That is a confirmed critical. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Do we still have a G do we get a GM hint in this campaign? There's no GM hint. You got a free one on accident. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say if we could use it to force you to reroll. We had a night. No, that's for the other campaign. Uh, and that's a hero point, not a GM. No, it's not. It's the GM oh, hint that forces him to reroll. Yeah. The the emergency. Uh... Mm -hmm. Ow. You know, we can't use that campaign's, uh, <laughs> point to save his life. Oh, I'm oh, immediately getting out. <laughs> yes. Withdraw and run. your head to over there, Sab. The cave ambiance. <laughs> it's right. very rhythmic. 
So the huge centipede critical votes are the centipede gets a second standard action against Rikert, the centipede swallows Rikert whole, or the centipede slams him back into the tunnel. I voted. And I <laughs> centipede slams him back into the tunnel so far as 100% of the votes. Oh, somebody's voting elsewhere. Uh, somebody's voting to kill me. <laughs> All right. Oh no, we we have learned that getting swallowed whole does not get you killed. If you've got the right equipment. Yes. Thank God I have all my weapons on me still, even though they aren't drawn. So it deals max damage on a crit of 19 hit points worth of damage, Holy dropping hell. you down to two. Holy hell! And I need you to make a fortitude save. Oh no! As this bite <laughs> is very poisonous. Get it high, get it high, get it high, get it high. I said roll high! <laughs> <laughs> Does he have a hero point? No, that is not this campaign. Wait, Jesus, do you have, do you have any? <laughs> no. All right, so you take, uh, for the first round of this poison, you take four points of dexterity damage. Ow. You still have an HP. That drops you down to only a plus two on dexterity bonuses, <laughs> so that means your AC base is now 14. And then uh, when it does the bite, it kind of picks you up and tosses you, and you get tossed ten feet back against the wall. It doesn't do any other damage to you. Uh, then we get to roll initiative. I think you're on mute. Me? No, Reichert. Might have accidentally you're right. I am on mute. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> Just to hear him no, I Jamin, it's not your turn to roll. And so I turn yeah. off the food to eat. Can Jamin save that for his next initiative? No. Uh, uh, bonus no. Uh, yes, he can save it. I believe I have improved you, initiative. No. You just took his initiative roll. Why did you do that, Garrett? I thought we were still playing double. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I have a plus eight, but I've lost two points of dexterity. So it's plus six. Yeah. Plus six. Okay. You can do this. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. Oh, jeez. Am I not going first? <laughs> no, it beat you by one. Because Garrett rolled. Blame Garrett. If you die, I mean, like, I'm fault. assuming that if if I yell, they might be able to hear me though. So would I have been able to yell? Yeah, you get a free action. Yeah, I'm pr I pretty much yell oh, very hell? loudly, hoping that somebody would hear me. Okay. Oh. Do we hear him out here? Perceptions. Like Your yells fall on deaf ears. Yeah, I was about to say you guys will have to roll perception. Cool, <laughs> cool does not hear him. Rolani does. Lyra does. Lyra. Jamin does. Scoot. Scooter doesn't give a shit. No. <laughs> cool is just like. I'm giving Scooter an automatic minus 10 on all skill checks. Yep. Scooter's like. Alright. Record been in there a long time. Why'd you look at your wrist, cool? Don't know. See, see I've been in there like five minutes. I've been in there for like less than five minutes, and you're already yeah. hearing me scream for my life. He's screaming. It drops down and wanders over, and it rears its head back, ready to bite you, but it doesn't bite you. It's holding its action. Okay, so it's my turn. For you to try and run. All right, it's your turn. Make another fortitude save. Where's that plus? Uh, it's just 1d20. Oh, good. Wait, wait, if it moved, if it moved already, you I didn't you have my weapon full... drawn. I understand, cool, cool, I know. Okay. That's a failed save. It is? Oh, shit. Fortitude is terrible. And that is... 
another four dexterity damage. Ooh. I'm at ten dex. I yeah. So that is it like basically right here then for me, or is it literally that size? It is actually that size. Oh boy. Yeah. But so it's like in the two spaces in front of me then. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you uh, to run away from it, you have to also go through it. You have to run through it. Oh, so yep. it cornered him off. Yeah. Uh, as far as the, the, the upper corner. The draw actually would allow me to do that, though, right? If you, if you do a disengage? Uh, the withdraw. withdraw. That's part of the withdraw action. I don't think it would work if you would if you would have to cross his square. Yeah, withdraw only protects you for the first. First, square. yeah, the first square. Yep. So withdraw action. It's okay. Withdraw We're talking. It. Work. All right. Just stay your ground. But the problem is that I now have no decks and therefore like no decks, no bonuses. Yeah. It is we your turn, Riker. Ugh. Is my horse? Uh, Combat ready? No. Your horse is baloney. Are you sure? Positive. It would take your move action to get on it, but you can still. Only Rolani's oh, was combat I was ready. I'm already on it. I just got off after I heard it. Oh. Uh, yeah. I, I have combat riding. Uh, my de my AC is down to twelve. Uh, ten. Uh, no, I have two armor. Oh, why is it not showing up over here? I'm wearing leather armor. That is so strange. Why isn't it adding it up here? Oh, because I was looking at your t your touch. My bad. Yeah, you're right. It is combat trained. Yeah, yeah that just means that um, it won't. It won't flee. Like it won't fight in combat for you. You could attempt to use it in combat, but it might. No, it it won't fight in combat for her. Oh, it mm. won't fight. I'm not. It's got a melee. It's got. Hang on, guys. It's Riker's turn. If I and if I take the disengage action, I can't move, right? Disengage will only grant you five feet of movement, Which and then basically the same thing as the withdraw action, anyways. Though. Well, withdraw you can move your full, but it only prevents one square of attack of opportunity. Now it might be waiting for you to make a move. I mean, I assume that it. Is Scooter is leaving us. So you either have a disengage, which or a five foot step, or you can stand your ground. Wait. I'll no, stand my I... ground and hope I don't immediately die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you won't die. Okay, so you're gonna contest. you're gonna stay there. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Okay. You, you can always roll a will save if you can't decide yourself. His vision, his vision is dependent on movement. Can't you? Can't you do uh, acrobatics rolls to try and? I would, but my acrobatics is now like three instead yeah. of eight. It was due to the loss of my dexterity. And if he screws it up, he provokes. That's. But that's. What they, I how many? I it still would only get one attack of opportunity, though, if I moved through it, moved uh, to run out the. Oh, was your AC right? at twelve? I mean. And your HP at two. HP at two, AC at twelve. Uh. I'd make a will save, honestly. That's what I would do. It was at this time. Myself, Record realized he shouldn't have gone alone. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I probably would have died horribly either way at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, waiting to charge in there. I mean, I already attempted to alert somebody, so yeah, I guess I might as well, like, move towards my sword, but not actually, like, move. <laughs> okay, so you're like, gonna... Oh, shit. Okay, it's so you're, you're gonna... immediately attacking me, so... Stay there and just take a defensive action, which will grant you yeah. a plus two to the AC. So you got a 14 AC for this turn. Other than you guys may now roll your initiative. Jamin had a 22. Yes. <laughs> I don't have much of an initiative, sadly. At least I still have a torch. <laughs> so you can see what's killing you? Or you can light it on fire. <laughs> I mean, you, and it'll also, like, technically help you find me. 
because it'll be like the one area where there's light coming from it. All right, Jamin, what do you do? Um, let's see what we've got. Is that no? Well, if I threw like a bomb at him, obviously I'd splash damage with him too. Yeah. I mean, you are. Well, you're not even near. Yet, yeah, so. you, you don't know well, anything about what's going on. Oh, sorry, he's going. You guys see oh, what you see on the map. But Jamin, Jamin did hear the right shout. Am I mad? Still standing. I could have. Oh man. If I, if <laughs> I, I reacted the cave. Over, I could have given him mage armor or something. Could have, should have, would have. All right. Well, I guess I'll just move up a bit. Rilani's gonna charge in there, heads up. So. Well, in that case, I'll try, I'll put um, mage armor on Rilani. Okay. Bring him down to forty-nine charges. Okay. What doing? What doing, no, friend? 48. Cool never right. heard the scream. What does that bump my AC to? I already said he's screaming in there. No, I didn't hear you say that. You heard one oh. scream. <laughs> it's just like a, ah! Is his drama like a plus two? Oh, plus what four. the? <laughs> plus four? Yeah, plus four. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? He... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> what the hell? All right, Jamin gives Rolani mage armor. Cool, Grook. It's your turn. I don't even know Ooh, if you can step in. Could you fit a horse to the How much? Cave? How much move speed was that? He said that I could fit 15. it in there. I haven't Fifteen. Fifteen. Inside though, so if someone's in my way, they're gonna have to move because the mirror's going. There's there's two spaces now, right? I have dark. I have dark vision. That's some half orc. <clears throat> I think. I bet it was the torch. The torch has killed me. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta fix something here. Yeah, I see only blackness. Yeah, that's that, that's what I want you to see. I gotta make sure that I, I'm not sharing everybody's vision here first. I have dark vision. That doesn't mean you can see everybody else's vision. Gosh. It means you aren't trapped by them. So you see down here, but only in black and white. I should have spent money on that lantern. And I forgot to copy paste you over. Yeah, I still see nothing. You see something? I see nothing. Yeah. I have low light, so hopefully that's. So the chamber opens up, and you see bits and pieces of a body to the north. Yeah. And then the chamber continues further uh, south. Can I hear noises from anywhere either way? Uh, you hear um, the fight going from the south. Okay. So I took 15 feet. You also see the dead corpse that I stepped over. Take now you do. 15. You see a body uh, as the the slope, it, or the, the cavern kind of slopes down a bit, about 15 feet. You see a corpse on the ground. Injury to its arm. Okay, let me check one thing real quick. Alright, and I want to... So can I, since I obviously would know that Rolani is getting ready to like charge through, can I ready to cast a spell to aid her as she goes? You can cast a spell and touch her as she passes. Okay. I will cast sun metal. I'll cast sun metal, and touch her as she passes, so that she okay. can have wow. that. Bonus. Okay. To her weapon or her armor. Her weapon. Okay. All right. So you hold there. I didn't know you could do it, though. Oh, I might be thinking of um, uh, heat metal. Never mind. Yeah. 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 Sun metal is weapon. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Then it goes to Lara's turn. I guess I'm following suit. So, uh, definitely not going nearly as fast as they are, because I don't know, I'm a magey mage. How many feet did you move? I'm, no, I'm, I thought I got off my horse. Yeah, but how much feet did you move? Just now. Oh, I can only move 30. Hold yeah. On. Double move into a cave. Yep. You can, you can double move in there, since... 
so they're just here. Now, someone can ride with me on the mirror if they want to, but they better hop off whenever I'm engaging, because... Uh, I mean, I can cast mage face. armor on myself. I can cast mage armor on myself, and I guess I can technically have on the back of you. Okay. Can I, I just, get on the back of the mirror? Hey, I just went one you don't pace. Have to. Uh, Jesus, move. It was it was still within 15 feet of where I came in at. Alright, so you're waiting just on the mirror. I just hop off when you're starting to engage, essentially. Am I able to hop off? It'll have to yeah, be a move action mm -hmm. in your turn. But you'll be able to. Okay. Okay. It what tilts its head. Dexterity goes to zero. I didn't have a turn yet, babe. Hmm. I didn't have a turn yet. Yeah, it goes next. Correct. Oh. I don't see the turn order or anything. Oh, it's yeah, no, because uh, you guys, guys aren't on 15, the next thing. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys aren't on the same map that the combat's happening, so... Oh, it was a surprise round, okay. Um, let me actually look up. Um, once you get down to seven, you're slow to react. You become klutzy. At four to five, you're uh, visible paralysis, yeah, no, physical like difficulty. Is, uh, zero, like, uh, just immobile. Or is it death? Incapable of moving, but not unconscious. Okay. Just wanted to double check that, because I know that mm. one or two of them is death. Right. Centipede continues watching for a moment, and then burrows back into the ceiling. Oh, it's just waiting for you to go unconscious, man. Oh my god, it is movement sensitive. You, it's a T-Rex. You it's a tremor. Hear, or you see some dust and stuff falling as it's burrowing, kind of moving directly over top of you. Oh. You just see oh. it. Ugh. Well, the gonna be bad, I'm gonna roots horse, and though, things man. like that falling. And then it goes to your turn, and another fortitude save is needed. Well, let's continue rolling d as and see what happens. Nope. I'm just going to paralyze my... I'm just going to get paralyzed here. I rolled a two, so that's two more ability damage. So I'm at eight Six. now. Six. I don't think I have any way that can remove that yet. Oops. Yeah, sorry, you're at eight. I did the wrong score. You reduced my constitution? Yeah. I clicked the wrong one. You're really trying to kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. He did constitution damage to me, and it was already at a negative two in the last campaign. That was actual constitution damage. Yeah. Alright. That would have killed you, though. Yeah. Alright. No, she was at a negative two bonus, oh. not a negative two score. Oh. You may continue your turn, record. Oh, my God. Oh Start army crawling. <laughs> hey, you, you could you could warn us about the zombie in the hallway. I mean, I didn't actually know. No, he doesn't know it's a zombie. Oh, that's right. yeah, it was a corpse. He doesn't know. Okay, that's all right. I mean, it is on the ceiling, though. Can he make an intelligence check to kind of assume or guess that it was movement sensitive? Oh, the yeah, he can guess that, but without an actual knowledge check surpassing the score, no. Hmm. Sorry, both me. It is in the ceiling. Oh. If, if you can, ooh, ooh, kneel, kneel down, down like really slowly and pick up a rock or something. Tremor <laughs> stuff. Or he could just throw one of my could, daggers. Yeah, he's got seven of them. Oh, I've got okay. seven daggers. It's always worth a shot. Yeah. I mean, something gets you one more time. Especially before you're paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Might be worth doing. 
Let's, yeah, let's do that. Throw a dagger Did back down the hallway into the wall. Not, not towards the entrance. I, yeah, like down, uh, what's it? Like over here. Yeah, like down that way. Alright, you toss the dagger, it hits the side of the cave wall, makes a bunch of noise, and nothing happens. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's not its turn, turn yet. So. <laughs> Riker's just like, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, well, might as well go total defense then. Attempt to maintain my falling AC. Alright, so you holding your weapon kind of ready and, yeah. and you're keeping a... I have my, have, my long, have my rapier up and attempting to protect myself. Alright, so that keeps you at a, what, a uh, 13 AC? It keeps, it keeps me at a 12 now, I think. Oh, uh, it was only like... negative one that you just lost, so... I'd be at 11. Okay. Yeah, that would be a 13. Okay. Yeah, you get a plus 2 when you're doing your defense. Alright. Let's go to Rolani. Alright. Rolani's gonna go in. Did I move? Yeah, I did. Okay. Rolani's gonna go in. Alright. Namira has a movement of 50, so he's gonna use that up. In the cave. Let me uh, fix this real quick. I don't think I fixed him. Yeah. There All you right. Go. As you get in and go past, cool group. Oh, tell you to hold your weapon out. There's dropping here. I might double move depending on. There you go. Okay. Hang on just a second. I gotta move them to the thing. No, you're back in the cave. They don't see it. More voice of fighting for me and kind of cursing under my breath at how I'm probably going to die in this cave. <laughs> okay. Now you should be able to see. Just a little bit. So cool, point out which way the noise came from and ask and Probably say, also, hold out weapon. To Rolani. Yeah, yeah, you cast that on our weapon. Oh yeah, it was already out. Okay. But I mean, you gotta like, hold it out. Around yeah, yeah. Well, you've already cast it, so literally all you have to do is just go boop. Okay. So I'm moving down. Oh, there's a cave. Okay. So this See a body on the ground. Feet. Oh crap. I was so... supposed to still be on your back. Oh yeah, you you can come with me. It's fine. I don't know. Oh, I thought you were No, I thought she was jumping off. I am jumping off before Whenever... they Oh, okay. Whenever she wants to, she can jump off, but Okay. So, um I'd have to move past this guy. Yeah, it's just a body on the ground. Yeah. All right, Trample hold. It with your horse. Yeah, hold. All right. I'm also, I have no light vision. You yeah, probably start. You probably start seeing my light around here. So, even though the... you have, like, probably have low light vision, so I have low light vision, but all I'm legit seeing is right there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. I haven't had a chance to adjust her yet. Hang on. Okay. All right. So the first thing that happens is the body lurches up as the horse passes over. <laughs> it grasps at. Layra's uh, feet. Does it grab? Does, does it... Um, I don't provoke. Uh, confirm crit. crit. <gasps> it's, gonna it's gonna drag you off the back in the mirror. Double confirming crit. Oh shit! Okay, it is confirmed. It, Double, it is doubly confirmed, but it is not an instant kill. This tears her feet straight off. I need a will save from Lyra. Trying to find that plus five. All right, you save from the fear effect. Mm -hmm, but this is surprise. Okay. I thought I, I thought I'm not able to be surprised. This was just a dead body. Has a special ability. Yeah, it's not an ambush or anything. All right. Oh, well, it, it was um. What the hell was it even called? I don't even remember what the hell it's called now. Also, where's your oh, son? Bonds. No, it's not Bonds. Why it's... isn't Scooter with you? Scooter is on, well, it was on the back of the uh, horse with me. Oh, good thing you have a uh, combat ready thing. Spirit sense. It... That's, that's what the hell it was that I had. The dead body pulls one leg and yanks down and catches you off of the back of the horse. You hit the ground, and then its other arm clasps around your throat, and then it pulls its arm up and 
tries to choke you. It deals... 50 points of damage! <laughs> Let's see. 24 points of damage. Would I be able to make an attack of opportunity? Because Holy shit. Attack? Great, no, I you already come. passed it. Oh, wait, I had, I had a... Crap, I had mage on. Yeah, but you were moving past it already. I had to stop her there. Yeah, I didn't know who was going to pull off. I changed my AC to observe the fact that I had mage armor on. Mm -hmm. It wasn't against your... Um, that's fine, I know, but I You're just realized that. that AC happened. anyways, but yeah, you needed a plus four. Yeah. So, that drops you to a negative three as it pulls you down and just starts digging its claws into your throat and also strangling you. So you said I can't do an attack against it? You don't get an attack opportunity, but I will let you stop there if you choose to stop there. Help me! Yeah. So you do you guys see the uh, torchlight coming oh, from the southern... Right there. Straight up out. And the... The um, there is a little bit of torchlight coming from the southern tunnel here. I just, I mean, Cold Grook is right there, though. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, Cold Grook saw that. Wow, I thought I thought I straight up couldn't be surprised because it says a plus two trait bonus to perception checks to avoid being surprised and to detect invisible or incorporeal. Creatures. Yeah, but you didn't roll perception there. It's not incorporeal or anything. It's just a zombie. Yep. Um, bullshit. I. Man, um, I'm making an attack. Is, is, is my summon still gone. up? No, your summon's gone. Okay. So I'll have to bring him back up. Which isn't a big deal. It's not like Celine. Alright, All right, well, well, since I've stopped there, there, can I make an attack against it now? Yeah. yeah. And then I'll move to you, Cole, once I'm done here. Hopefully. So, Sun Metal gives me a plus two and a plus four on damage or something? It adds a 1d4 fire, fire damage. damage. It doesn't give me anything to the attack? No. Just add extra damage. It's only a level one spell. No, no, that's fine. <sighs> um, hopefully I will hiss. Can your horse trample it? The mirror can attack afterwards, yeah. Oh, that hits. Oh, it hits? Okay. Hmm. So... There. This is what you're attacking here. So it's a plus 1d4 fire? Yeah, you'll do a separate roll for it. Okay. Do your normal damage, then roll 1d4 fire. So it takes... Oh, sure. 7 damage. And the fire seems to do nothing to it. Okay. It just immediately extinguishes. Yeah, yeah. And, um, let's, let's go in the mirror. What can you do? Do, 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 do? You hear the combat out there, Rikert. Ugh. What happened to our cave ambiance? I don't know. I think it went away whenever... Yeah, it did. It, it stopped... Oh, because I didn't put it on loop. There. There we go. Yay. Get that beat flowing there hot. That's better. Alright, so... The rhythm of death. I am on Namir. Namir has a gauntlet. What? <laughs> it said Namir has a gauntlet. From armor. Oh, no it doesn't. Okay, I get what it means. <laughs> it's fine. Armored hooves. Mm-hmm. Where do I find his bite and everything? What the very, the right very top one. I know, but I don't know what to roll. Is it just a plus one bonus? Oh, that's because you have it so tiny. You gotta maximize it. I can't with the chat there. Yeah, you just gotta maximize it for a second. No, just for a second. All right, oh, plus, okay. plus one from the bite. What's that on the hooves? Minus four. Minus. Four. Yeah, so that's right. Armor on it. Okay. Um. Just gonna try to to bite it out, I guess. <laughs> Can't trample. Got a bite. No. Mm -mm, gotta move it. If she trampled, <laughs> it would have got you too. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a fourteen versus its AC. That's a hit. Oh, okay. Oh, 
time for Oh, I was gonna say. I'm biting, biting the mirror. The mirror bites it with enough force to stop it from doing any more damage to Lyra, but it is not stopping now. Like, it, it's trying to reach out and grab at her still. Just, yeah, <sighs> but the bite, like, it's pulling him up off of... Yeah, can I make a move action now to try and pull him off? Uh, you can. But that means you have to get down there and do that yourself. I can't, like, grab at it and pull? Mm-mm. And you mean you want to reach? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The beer can drag it. Uh, you you can, but it's gonna provoke. I don't, I don't provoke. You can, but it's gonna provoke. You can, but it's not gonna provoke if you okay. because you're actively reaching at it and pulling it. Okay. Well, what if the mirror himself is dragging it? Yes. He does have a mouthful of zombie. He's gonna provoke as well because he is trying to carry a Strangle zombie doing like this. Just do um, it. Wrap your hands around a horse's neck and just throw it Keep in keep it mind, pull, pull the elf. Keep zombie. Keep in mind, Rolani, whatever your heavily armored AC is, it's four higher than normal already. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So I'm not sure it'll hit you if you provoke, unless it crits again. Yeah, so I'll... Double crits, jeez. Let's see. Okay, so what is Namir's AC? His AC is 19, and right now mine is 22. Um... Well, I'm both doing pretty okay. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. doing pretty okay. Swiftly. Yeah, I'll just, I'll... We'll pull Namir out this way. Alright, so Namir's pulling him? Yeah. That is a... non-hit. So... That is it for your turn. Uh, you see in here just a little bit, um... The torch, the torch light is much brighter. Yeah. You, your torchlight's much brighter. Okay. Or you see a, a brighter source of light coming from down this tunnel. Jamin's turn. Um, it's it for your turn. I'm Yay. obviously going to shout out, Cole, we need you in here. Oh, I can see that happen. Yeah. Um, wait, but you just stood there and watched you. I you didn't help. Everybody's dying. Well, this hold is on, so I have a question. I'm going to turn into a PPK, just like the Sintar has said. already spent his six seconds. I have a question. Is Rykart within 30 feet of me? Hang on, please. Uh, it's it is Jamin's turn. Okay, um, so is it like a radius, or don't I have to be in line of sight for cavalier abilities? No. Yes. Really? What are you trying to do? I played a cavalier before. I vaguely remember the neat stuff that they do. Um, yeah. It. it is. Yeah, to grant them anything, you do have to be able to. They have to be able to see in here. Hmm. Some of them have to okay, just be yes, heard. Who can see in here? But if he can see me... And he, he cannot can see you. I can't see you. There's like a little curvy passage. Yep, there's a uh, stuff blocking line of sight. Damn, look at my vision. Yep. I'm gonna tell you to hold yeah. still. Oops, I was supposed to do this. Alright, so it is... Uh, Jamin? Jamin? Hang on, guys. It is Jamin's turn, and Jamin... Uh, Scooter was behind you, and as you're heading into the cave... Scooter goes and is unsummoned. Uh, okay, that's not good. You lose um, your snake friend. I passed As out. Jamin of course I lost. In, can cool guide Jamin in to him? Yeah. Good to <laughs> well, Jamin also saw the spell getting cast inside the cave as well. So could I then? Oh, I don't want to throw a bomb. I I have to just bury everyone in there and the <laughs> campaign over. Done. And then a giant centipede comes out from the rubble and just swallows Jamin whole. <laughs> um, <laughs> a bomb explodes shortly after. <laughs> I'll, I'll stand like just just on like the the, the mouth just just right here, and uh, how far how far is everyone in? Like did they go we'll right on in? Right, guys. You you could see in that oh, cool okay. was not very far in when he cast. I I can't see. There you're at the mouth there. <laughs> uh, you have um you don't have low light so this is this, this is all you get. With the torch. 
But but what he knows the cool it? cast from. There you go. Mm-hmm. So. And cool as, as you do start another one. Though. Say, You're muted again. Yeah, friends yeah. here. I'm cool. Muted again. Okay. Just move him there. Move Jamin to cool. I want arcade music again. Oh, there we go. What in the world? Cool. Are you still clicking, or is that just forever an echo now? Yeah. I'm still clicking. Okay. Stop clicking. Yeah. No, I'll cast. Um, I'll cast a mage armor on. Cool. Okay. All right. As he gets close, does he still have enough of any sort of action to take one of the torches out of my pack? Sure. He can use the yeah. remainder of his turn to take a torch, light it. And then see for that. thirty feet. And see the unconscious body of. I don't know if you can see that far. And I think I'm oh, next. Nope, Nope, just out of view. Right. Uh, yes. Alright. Um, however, it is time for our next break, <laughs> so we're going to take a quick break at at this spot and uh, be back in hopefully about five minutes. We are still on voice. <laughs> 